Hi, welcome to TD Cat Tech. Today I'm looking at these. I just want to quickly show you exactly how these come from Amazon. These are the world's best cables. That's quite a statement, right? But if you've looked for any decent cables on Amazon, you'll have noticed that a lot of the time they just fall under this generic brand of the world's best cables. And who are these people? I'm I tried to find out. I tried to look online. I looked at the address. I looked about it. I just literally cannot find anything that says that this is actually a company. So people have obviously speculated that these are, in fact, just Chinese ripoffs, just put together with sort of, you know, decent ripoffs, but just ripoffs all the same. So I went to Amazon, and uh, Amazon is notorious for coming up with complete garbage when you ask for something nice. But this is what it gave me, world's best cables. And if you've looked for the same thing, you've probably come up with the same thing. So, long introduction there, but let's take a look in this bag and see exactly what you get with a world's best cable. So if you are considering buying these, well, you can see for yourself whether or not it's worth it. So they come in a, in a nice, you know, plastic bag that has world's best cable on it. And there are a lot of cues with this that make me think that these these are sort of legit. Uh, I've no real reason to think that they're that they're dodgy. Um, I think their idea is that they just take a bunch of well-known kind of plug and cable manufacturers like Amphenol and Megami and Nutrick and all those, and they just do combinations of cables to suit people, really. So I think it's a really good idea because finding decent cables is not that easy. So there we go. This is a three meter microphone XLR cable. And this is what we get. The Megami cables are made in Japan. Yeah. Nutrick made in Liechtenstein. Okay, I think they are Nutrick. Uh, and then on the back, they've got all the kind of different uh, companies that they use to make up their cables and stuff. And then they've got all the kind of text underneath there that says, you know, we have the right to all, you know, made used under license from this company and this company. And then at the bottom here, we, we do have an address for the company, which says world's best cables, 16192 Coastal Highway, Lewes, Delaware, 19958 USA. You look that up, it's just an industrial estate or something similar. So there's no mention of the company. There's nothing obvious to suggest that this is a real thing. They haven't got a website even. Who are they? Or is it, I don't know. I, I really have no idea on this. But anyway, here's, here we go, my three meter cable. Let's take out the, uh, take it out. And uh, again, little touches like this kind of make me think, you know, there's a little kind of piece of Velcro here and you can see that it's got, sort of, you know, it's been properly embroidered and everything like that. It's little things like that where you kind of think, oh, if a company was going to rip you off, would they bother doing something like that? Maybe they would just to fool suckers like me. I don't know. And uh, here's the cable itself and uh, I'll just zoom in my camera. I'll just zoom in my uh, my main camera here. So you can get a closer look at this and this. So this is the cable that's being used on here. And you can hopefully see there, hopefully take a read that this is Neglex. Is it Neglex? 2534 microphone cable, Megami, Japan. I hope you can um, read that. And I've looked up the spec of that cable online and I've done capacitance measurements of this cable. It comes in fine. I think they say uh, their kind of what they class as K0, which I think is basically to ground. Um, the capacitance of this cable is, is 65 picofarads per meter. I got it as um, 140 picofarads for two meters, so slightly over, but my meters are a load of crap, so um, doesn't really matter. It works fine. It's it's hopefully the real deal, but you can't necessarily tell, can you, from this? Now, the Nutrik connectors themselves, well, they look okay, don't they? I mean, they've got the kind of classic kind of, um, I don't know what you'd call that, really, just the, the little retention points there with the soft this soft rubbery bit here. And these are the sort of things that make a difference with uh, with decent connectors. You know, it's how well this cable is clamped into place. And, uh, and that, yeah, just just how, how long this rubber will last. It's all those little things that make a difference here. And uh, they are obviously branded as Nutrick. 
And uh, inside, they look, they look absolutely fine to me. If these are copies, they're bloody good ones. And not only that, on the other side here, we've got the very familiar, it's this bit, you know, the, the, the clip here that goes into, into place. This is just so much nicer on a proper Nutrit connector. Other ones are just like wobbly and sharp and uh, I don't know. That, to me, looks like the real deal. If you look very closely on the end there, you'll see that inside it says, and if I can get in really, really nice and close here for you, you'll see that it says on the on there, it actually says kind of Liechtenstein, so where the ca uh, cables are made, they've put their little stamp there. And when I looked at this, first of all, I thought, is that something they've just put in there because they felt like it and they're, you know, just trying to make it genuine? Does this even exist on normal, normal um, uh, Nutrik connectors? So I got one that I know is genuinely a Nutrik connector an old uh, an older style uh, not older style sorry just a silver variety and you can see here that yes they do indeed have that on you got your little um, stamp there to say Liechtenstein so there's absolutely nothing here that makes me think that these are fake it seems like the real deal and the price so I a three meter cable here what this this cost me something like 25 pounds or 20 pounds or something so they're not cheap but you can if you go online and you're shopping for Megami cables you may end up spending kind of 40 pound on something like this Megami cables with Nutrit connectors yeah so in short from what I can tell these are the real deal these are fine world's best cables no idea who they are if anyone can put any more information, I'd really appreciate it. If anyone's managed to find them online somewhere, that'd be great. Stick it in the comments because I've got absolutely no clue who they are. But 10-year replacement warranty, that's what you get if you go on Amazon. Yeah, so you can find Megami cabling and Nutrit connectors on Amazon just under these guys. Who are they? Yeah. So there we go. If you're after some cables and you just saw that brand and thought, who... You know, who are these people? Are they okay? I don't know. In my opinion, I think so. I'm perfectly happy with this. Seems fine. Seems fine to me. I'm sure it will transfer electrical signals <laughs> and it will do me just fine in the environment that I'm going to use it in on a three meter run. We'll t only time will tell with that one. But thanks very much for watching and uh, do put your thoughts and comments in the description. Uh, sorry, in the description. Do put your thoughts and comments down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks. And I will see you soon.